Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Do the premium link codes on Patreon. Ask me anything in my Discord. Try to get back to everyone. This is a rectangle overlap question. It is easy. Got some likes here. Uh, it was pretty go cool. Uh, sometimes in an interview, you might be asked something about math because software engineering does involve math depending on what you're going for. Um, you know, software engineering specifically, there's a little bit of math involved sometimes. A rectangle is represented as a list, x1, y1, x2, y2, where x1, y1 are the coordinates of the bottom left corner. x2, y2 are the coordinates of the top right corner. Two rectangles overlap if, they're air, if the area of intersection is positive. To be clear, two rectangles that only touch at the corner or edges do not overlap. Um, okay... Two rectangles that only touch at the corner edges. Oh, you mean if they're like bordering each other, basically. Okay. Uh, given two axes aligned, rectangles return whether they overlap. So, rectangle 1, 0, 0, 2, 2. Rectangle 2, 1, 1, 3, 3. What do we notice about this, and why is it true? Why do they overlap? Well, we notice that these numbers are greater than these numbers, and these numbers are less than these numbers. And that's pretty much the answer right there, just looking at it. But for math problems, I do like to visualize. So I wrote this out while I was trying to solve it, just so I could see what was going on. Um, uh, this isn't in the discussion or anything. I just like to see what's going on with this. So let me just show you the answer, basically. Let's say we have a rectangle. It's anywhere on a grid. This is just a rectangle. It could be anywhere on a graph or whatever. So this is somewhere. This We'll call it rectangle 1. Rectangle 2 intersects with this rectangle if it is, let's look at the four the different ways. It could be in the top left of this rectangle, so the bottom right co corner would be intersecting right here. It could be to the top right of this rectangle. I just burp, sorry. In the bottom left corner could be intersecting with it. It could be down here in the top left corner could be intersecting with it. Or it could be down here in the, you know, the top right corner it could be uh, intersecting with it, you know. Those are some possibilities right there. Uh, you know, it could be a little bit more up there, but, like, generally that's how it works. Um, we're not worrying about a perfect overlap, but um, in this problem they don't account for that. But here's what the idea is. If it was in any of those positions, the top right coordinate for this new overlapping rectangle is always the x and y values for the top right is always going to be greater than the bottom left of this specific rectangle so you can see here the overlap right the top right corner it's right here greater than these coordinates over here the top right corner is somewhere up in space over here it's greater than these coordinates over here the top right coordinate somewhere up in space over here it's greater than these coordinates over here top right coordinate still greater than these coordinates so it's always greater um, and the, uh, what other, what was the other thing? It was, I already forgot the bottom. Oh yeah. The bottom, um, left coordinate of the rectangle is always less than the top right of the, this rectangle. So the overlapping rectangles, bottom left, see this is always less than this bottom left somewhere down in space, less than this. Bottom left over here, less than this. Bottom left over here. That's the whole idea. So we can just write that out in a long uh, Boolean expression. So it's return um, rectangle rect rec. Oh, it's rec rec one of um, zero. So rec the x the starting x value of the first rectangle is going to be less than the ending rectangle value of the second rectangle, um, as well as the starting rectangle point of the um, what am I saying? The starting the starting uh, the starting y value the starting y value is going to be less than I just had to think and make sure I was right about what I was saying but yeah I am right it is less than rec two of three so the ending y value and then we just have to do the other uh, so this what this says is that the first coordinates 
of this are less than the ending coordinates of the overlapping rectangle, which we discussed. And then the beginning, re the overlapping rectangle's beginning coordinates, so rec two of zero has to be less than rec one of two, because that's the ending. The beginning coordinate has to be less than the ending coordinates of the other rectangle. And rec, sorry, let me expand a little bit. And rec two of y, so rec two of one, has to be less than rec um, one. I didn't get that much sleep last night either, so that might be affecting what I'm, my mental thought process uh, right now. Rec two of one has to be less than rec one of uh, three, yeah. So this just makes sure that what I said is true. I think this will work if I submit, if I also delete all that crap. There we go, it works. Okay, that's that's the whole thing to check for the intersection. Like I said, this checks the, these are the X and Y values of the beginning points of this rectangle, and they have to be less than the top right point of the ending rectangle, overlapping rectangle. And then the beginning point of the overlapping rectangle so these are the beginning points of the overlapping rectangle, have to be in less than the ending points of the um, underlying rectangle that it's overlapping. There you go. That's it. Um, hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Sorry I don't have a pen and marker that I do. You know, I'm not doing the Khan Academy cool thing. Someone can comment below if you know, like, a link to do the little Khan Academy animations. Maybe I could start doing those. But, uh, I mean, I thought, you know, I thought it made sense. Uh the explanation so um thank you guys for watching you know of course i had that error where i had you know this so you know i can't get by without an error but thank you guys for watching appreciate you guys love you guys and you know thank you and i'll see you in the next one